Hey what's up guys, Mike Locke here. So in this video I am going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to do this uh, text warping effect in Adobe Illustrator. This text effect that you see right here where it says crooks where you have you know your you have your text, your copy and you have this effect that it's sort of it's not actually actually wrapping on a, a line. It's not adding a, tax, a text to the path but it's actually doing a, some, some warping effect to the bottom of the screen here. Actually someone asked me, sent me this logo, the Crooks and Castles, which is a um, which is a clothing brand's uh, logo. You can go to their website, Crooks and Castles, and check out their clothing line. Um, I've seen the, the, I've heard of the name before, I've seen the logo before, I've actually never um, never had to do this effect before but um, I thought this was a cool challenge so I tried to figure out how to do this and I figured out you can really do this really easily in uh, in Adobe Illustrator and I try I I did uh, an example here which you can see and the the cool thing is, is that or the trick here is that you want to keep the top portion here straight while warping the bottom so in Adobe Illustrator you can do that really easily so let's just grab our text and I'm just going to type out the word crooks and I tried to get a text a font that was similar to the logo here so here's our text right here and if you select your text in Adobe Illustrator I'm using Adobe Illustrator CS5 but I'm sure it's the same in most for most of the earlier versions as well so if you go effect and just do warp right here you want to do arc lower and so you're going to get this little option box. Right now it's not doing anything because I'm, I don't have the preview checked so just select the preview and what you want to do you want to make sure your option here is horizontal you know and the distortion here you want those to be set to 0% but your bend you want it to be normally it's set by default like that but you want to set the default to something like that like negative negative uh, negative 25 or negative 30 or something like that so for example trying to do something similar to this logo what I would do is just sort of stretch my text out a little bit before I did the wrapping so I would stretch it out like that I would go back to effect warp arc lower and then just hit preview and then you can warp that to something like that like tw negative 26 percent alright you see that there just sort of copy those attributes hit OK and then you're done now it added an effect to your text so as you mouse over it it actually shows you the official text but if I wanted to create a path like you know I wanted to create this text into path I can't select my um, in CS4 when you select your text and you go to type and create outlines this option is grayed out so what happens is when you create when you select outlines like that um, in CS5 it sort of kinda does something kinda weird and funny but so the right the correct way to do this is select your text and go to object and you want to go to on CS4 you want to click this button where it says expand and then hit enter again but in CS5 we're going to do expand appearance okay so it, what it does it creates outlines for it so now what I can do let me just zoom in here or I can do ungroup I can select my text do ungroup and now what I can do is actually select each object each each text and uh, edit those individually. So what I can do is sort of select the groups, select this text here and just kind of squeeze them together to sort of get the right look and feel that I want. You know, like that. Alright, so that's how I would do it and then you can always group those together. And there's your logo. So you can add, you know, sort of use this same sort of effect. And as you can see, let me just draw my guides here. 
the idea is to do this where the top portion of your logo is remains straight. All right, so that's how you do this warping effect in Illustrator. All right, maybe you come across uh, intro. Also, when you go into when you create your text, let's say you create some text, Crooks. When you create your text, also play around with some of the other uh, options here under Effects, Warp. I would advise you to kind of go through all of these and just see which you know what type of effects they give you, and you'll notice that uh, and. Uh, some of the effects are really cool and you can use these on creating logos and stuff like that so alright hopefully this tip was helpful and uh... thanks for watching Bye.